This is Scott the Fix It Guy. Today we're dealing with a gas fireplace that won't light. It clicks, but it just won't light. Usually this is just due to some parts that are dirty, so we're probably just going to clean it up. Right now I'm just checking to make sure it's in the arm position. And then there's a switch on the side of the fireplace that you can press like a light switch that makes it click. I'm also confirming that the gas is in the arm position, so the yellow or red handle should be in the same line as the gas line. If it's 90 degrees turned, it means it's off. If it's in line, it means the gas should be flowing. So I click it, turn it on, and I hear the clicks. I can see the spark jumping, but still no ignition. Usually this stuff just gets dirty over time. It gets some carbonation on it and then it no longer will light. So we're gonna clean it up. Again, I'm just gonna make sure the switch is in the arm position. I'm gonna remove these fake logs to get them out of the way. Just lift them up, be able to get them out. And that gives you a little better access to the spark assembly and the pilot assembly. And one is making a spark. The spark is jumping from the electrode over to the hood of the pilot. And then the pilot is where gas can flow out to be lit. So when you turn it on, you get the spark, and then gas should flow over and become ignited. I can hear the gas flowing, but it could be that the little hole that the gas has to come out of is somewhat obstructed. So cleaning this little pilot hole will help. And we usually just use a wire brush. Pretty easy to do. Just giving us a better view. So I'm using the wire brush. I'm cleaning the part called the thermal coupler, which is what senses the heat. I'm cleaning the electrode <clears throat> that produces a spark. And I'm cleaning the little hood where the gas comes out because the spark has to jump over to that and if that's dirty it won't make a good spark. Just remove that other log to give me a little more room to work. Just doing more cleaning with the wire brush and then I'll try to get something sharp and pointy to push into the hole where the gas comes out just to make sure it's not obstructed. You want to be a little bit careful doing that, that you don't enlarge the hole. So you just want to have something pretty skinny. It's a very small hole. So even, even a straightened toothpick would probably be too thick to fit inside that little gas jet. Just checking all these, all these components make sure they're they're tight. I bent the electrode a little bit closer to the hood just using my hands. I turn it on. You get some spark going there but still no ignition. Pretty good spark though. And I can hear the gas flowing. It wants to light. So I'm going to use a gas light or actual lighter to light it up. And that's what it looks like when it's fired up. Sometimes just lighting it manually gets it, will get it going where it'll then light by itself. So that's something you can try. It's just while it's clicking, put a lighter or a match there, and then it'll, it will light because that's showing that there's gas flowing. And then uh, when the Thermocoupler gets hot enough, it'll let the main gas come in, and then you get this, this big flame. So everything's working as it should. It sounds a little bit funny to me, so I'm just tapping the gas valve lightly, making sure that nothing is stuck. It's looking pretty good. So I'll try it now without manually lighting. I'll see if it can, it can use the electronic ignition to light it. So turn it off, click it back on, get the spark, and I 
I was just I was just about to use the lighter and then it just turned on so it's doing better yeah why are we getting that kind of funny though it is spurting we usually get a flame that's get a gas uh, flame not too. Yeah. as much on and off but it's more of a sustained yeah. flame now it seems like it's turning on and off why each the, time why pretty the easily right there so I think cleaning it you, yeah but trick. you can tell like from here over I'm just cleaning out that that pilot hole where the gas comes out this is a little dental tool Remember, you don't want to push in real hard into that hole where the hole becomes bigger because then too big of a amount of gas comes out of the pilot and that's not what you want. Also pushing into these little holes where the main gas comes out. Then I'm going to put the logs back into position. There we go. Turn it on again. <laughs> Got a nice spark. There's yeah, the flame. Haven't figured there it out we yet. go. So that worked. Yeah. Just cleaning That's things did the job. We're going to put that inspection plate back in. Just slides into position. We'll close it up and make sure that with a little bit less oxygen that everything can still light. So you just really need a wire brush to do this and then something that can help open up that pilot hole. So I turned it on and then in slow motion, there's our flame. There we go, back to normal. Hope this has been helpful to you and please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance. Thanks for watching.